Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, my name is Daniel, I'm the High Mileage Helper, and uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about things that you need to consider before you jump into the RV transporting business. So uh, we're just going to dive right into it today. Um, we're going to be looking at the circumstances uh, that you're in. This is, this is something I don't think most people really consider when they are wanting to jump into this industry because it is very exciting, the thought of being able to transport stuff across the country. You get to see the whole country and uh, have so many options and have so many experiences uh, it can be a little overwhelming uh, at the beginning, but uh, we're just going to be looking at some uh, things that you need to really consider and just kind of hit the pause button for just a second uh, before you uh, fully just dive into it. Um, number one is going to be uh, what is your financial uh, position right now? Um, understand this isn't just a uh, just a game you're, you're going to get into and it's going to be... Um, you're going to be making uh, money out of the beginning. For you to have the right understanding and mindset, you have to operate this as a business. This is not a joke. It's not a game. Um, if you operate this as a business, every business, understand, you lose money at the beginning of the start of the business. You're investing time, money, energy, all this stuff. You're, you're operating a business at the beginning, which means... Uh, you either have to have a lot of money or already have a lot of assets to be able to kick this thing off, to start it off. And so uh, the number one is understand you need to have um, an emergency fund for the, for the truck, not just something that you would need uh, maybe for your house or your family, but understand uh, it's, it's, a dangerous, it's a dangerous game. Things happen to the truck. Uh, believe me, we're going to get into it later, but uh, things can happen after you get the truck and you get going. You can run into deep, deep trouble. And what are you going to do about it? Um, maybe that's maybe that's not a possibility. That's not an option uh, for you to have a, a, a deeper emergency fund, uh, a backup fund for for your your business for your truck. Um, but uh, that's number one financially, if possible at all. Uh, have some money saved back before you jump into it. Try to try to save as much money as you can before you go diving off into this industry because understand there's going to be so many things, so many expenses that you don't think about when you first start that it's just going to come and, and you're not having an option. It's, it's going to happen. You're going to have to shove out the money for it. Uh, things happen. So financially having an emergency fund is number one. Number two is going to be uh, the circumstances of your truck. Uh, that's something that is, that's, that's huge. That's probably the biggest uh, thing to really consider before you jump into the, into the industry. Uh, do you already have a three quarter ton at minimum uh, or a, a one ton or, or higher? Um, are you making payments on it? Uh, or is it paid off? You've owned it for years, it's already done, paid off, and uh, it's, it's free and clear, and you're good to go. Um, uh, best option would be to, to already have a truck that it's already paid off for, and you're able to just get hop in the truck and go. Uh, that's great. Uh, maybe you are going to buy a truck. You're planning on buying a, uh, a truck to actually do this job, and, uh, and you're getting your capital ready, you're getting your money to go, to be able to go down to the dealership to uh, Craigslist or someplace and buy a truck specifically for this industry. Um, and then number three, another option you have is um, renting a truck, uh, maybe from Enterprise. I don't know as much about that. Uh, maybe there's some other guys you can talk to online about that, but uh, renting a truck is another option you have in uh, your process of getting a vehicle uh, to do the job. And so, uh, again, uh, if you already have a truck, if you're planning on buying a truck and then renting a truck or, or leasing a truck, um, really, uh, to be doing this job, uh, those are three questions you've got to ask yourself. What are you going to be doing? How, how are you going to start off? 
Um, uh, are you going to buy a $75,000 truck? And uh, it's loaded with all the bells and whistles, good to go, or, or maybe even higher. I think I've seen even more expensive trucks. So might, might as well buy a house. Um, are you going to be buying brand new? Or are you going to be buying used? Uh, these are some serious questions to consider. Uh, if, you're, if your truck is paid off, you've had it for years. Um, how much maintenance, how much repairs do you have to do to get this thing up to DOT inspection level? Um, is it a rust bucket? Is it a falling apart? Um, also, another thing to consider is, uh, is your truck too old for companies to consider actually letting you lease onto them? Uh, that's, that's a serious question and, uh, uh, that needs to be answered. So uh, anyways, uh, things for us to consider financially, uh, your truck, and then lastly, uh, I would just put this in a, in a bigger category but uh, your, your home situation. Uh, how long are you planning on being gone on trips? Um, are you planning on doing day trips? Uh, I can tell you that's what I first kind of considered and then I thought, well, oh man, maybe I need to be doing longer trips to, to make more money and it'd be worth my, my time and not having to go pick it up and take it back home and all these things. Um, are, are you, are you, um, you and your family really ready uh, for you to be gone a day and a half, three days, uh, possibly a week, uh, going to California and coming back. Um, that's what it would be for me uh, living in Indiana. So uh, what, what really are you prepared to do? Um, what are you willing to do? And understand, based upon what you're willing to do, that means that's kind of kind of set your schedule uh, for where you're at. Uh, later on in other videos, I'm going to be sharing uh, where I started out at. And then uh, where I kind of um, changed things up and then I've since changed things uh, differently as well. So uh, hope this was a help to you. Uh, these are just some things to consider. Um, financially, uh, your actual truck situation, and then uh, home life. Um, you and your family prepared to, uh, this is probably the most important thing uh, above money, above the truck. Uh, you um, staying in relationships uh, with your with your spouse, with your children, um, it, running a business, driving on the road is not worth losing your family. Uh, I'll say it again: running your business on the road is not worth losing your family. I can tell you, uh, it's very very difficult. Uh, it can be very challenging, and uh, you can kind of be overtaken. And so, uh, those are just some thoughts to give you. And uh, I just want to be, again, I want to be a help to you. I'm the high mileage helper and uh, really wanted to be a blessing to you today. And um, look for other videos. I'm going to be posting uh, as many as I can to really just kind of go through these things uh, so you can be better prepared than I was when I first started on the road. So again, uh, subscribe and like uh, if this was a help to you. Hope you're having a great day. Stay safe and God bless.